M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we have the scanner TRX2. Now we've seen the, the TRX1, which uh, they pretty much, if you ask me, do the same thing. And I really like the TRX1, it's quite portable. And when it's in this leather case, it's, it's really rugged. And it does have a USB connector and there's so many programs out there that will work with this. It has an IQ out as well, which is at the top here, squelch button LED and BNC connector here and inside it has rechargeable batteries which you can recharge in the unit and you can recharge the you know the, the the just the standard rechargeable batteries that you can get in any shop so quite inexpensive and you do have a belt clip so that's that one there so now we're going to be looking at the you know what is different about the the base station and at, at the moment on the surface of things I can't see a big difference pretty much listing all the same features it's the, it's the same screen it just maybe a little bit wider you've got the keypad same selection buttons same micro usb headphone jack there on off and then uh, volume squelch so overall i think it looks like the same unit just in a in a base station style box and it's all listed here the type of uh, dmr tier two you've got motor turbo edacs you know it covers so many bands and has many many you know frequency steps and see if we can see the bands listed here. There you go, 25 to 50, and then 300 to 400. Pretty sure, has it got 1300 megs? I thought it did have. Um, on this side, yeah, there it is there, 1300 megs. Hand band, air band, military band, marine band, you know, and on and on and on, government band, VHF, 2HF, all kinds of stuff. It doesn't cover HF radio bands. So let's, uh, even though this is a, a used unit, it's hardly ever been used. I think it came out. The, it's been out the box for testing, and then yeah, the owner, the the, the you know the, the seller who sold it to me uh, just said he didn't get on with it, and so here it is, and uh, at uh, you know not a reduced price, a bit less than what you would pay if it was if it was brand brand new. So let's just get it out of the box and and, and see what's in here. So straight away we've got the some headphones here. I didn't know I had headphones, and instruction manual and in there we should be getting the mounting bracket the ac adapter usb cable micro usb and antenna they, they always come very well package these items don't they so just let everything fall out of the box okay everything's out of the box and you know that the head unit on these does actually come off now the power supply let's have a look with my Rubbish eyesight is half an amp and then it says they only have 13.8 volts. So yeah, I've got many of them lying around. And look, you get the RJ45 for separating the head unit, which would probably be a good thing. I think put, we will put it on the, the bracket. We'll just unscrew these things and get it on the bracket a second. And there are some nice rubber mounts there as well. Just show you that the head unit comes off just here see just push it like that and then it comes off I, I do think that that is a nice thing that it does that because sometimes you know you just want to just grab it in your hand and just program it but yeah it's still got the dim it down a bit still got the the sticker over the screen there's your button so the buttons are you know, very, very similar. Menu, WX, I'd say they're the same. If anything, the keypad and the buttons on the actual handheld are bigger. And the screen, I would say, is the same. So you're getting a base unit, but really, if you've got the handheld, you don't really need the base unit, if you ask me. But, I mean, base units are nice, of course they are. So let's just get it together. Okay, yeah, that looks nice in that. On-off button here like so now there's a little bracket here i think that's a mounting bracket for the head unit so that's there and then we've got adapters as well for you know different parts of the world for the adapt going with the mains power supply so let's get our bnc on us so we'll turn it around like i see micro usb at the front so that's the same cable that you would use for programming the you know, the the scanner using the software. So 
let's just turn it round like so and look on the back 13 volt DC goes in there speaker BNC let's grab the uh, so we'll get the power we'll get the BNC on there now that's on there probably easier with an adapter I do have an, a one of these type adapters here Let's go on the top like so. And let's get a power supply on there. And you know, it comes with a telescopic antenna as well. There you right, got the power in there. Just here. So let's turn it on. Uh, hold down here. Turn up the volume. Hold it down again. I know that they are. Because you you know these when they're off, they still can be programmed. If anything, they actually program better. Now there is a an SD card inside this actually um, that you that you can program that separately or within the unit. So yeah, it's a nice looking scanner. You know, I'm quite pleased about the way it looks on my desk. Um, you know, I've got the the handheld, it's got, it's a different appeal, although they are similar, of course. Um, the handheld, you know, you just go sit in your front room and you know that you can communicate with these wirelessly if you use soft, certain software. And so that one's just loading up with all these different frequencies that have been preset in there. And there's, you know, there's that one loading up as well. Quite a bright screen here, I'm sure we can change the brightness. Quite bright on the, Letting it boot, it, does, it can take a while. And the way to stop it booting so much is just when you're in the software, you can do it on the unit. It's just to deselect de uh, many, many items. That's what I would do. Yeah, so it started scanning and straight away we started picking things up. The, you can tell that the, the, uh, the backlight is, is set to go off. So I'll turn that on, you just go menu, go down to pretty sure it's program. Then, the program menu. Just got to remember myself. I'll find it now. Okay, I'm just watching my video on on the um, on the TRX one. It's global settings. We go down to and the buttons feel very nice and quite rubbery. Global settings. That's what you want. And you got the back button as well, which is menu. We are going to find this program menu global settings then you go down you're looking but it says light it's spelled l-i-t-e and we're in the uk we don't spell it that way there is a light mode key you've got that key just you've got the contrast there as well and beat volume so light mode well it wouldn't have battery will it so i'll just say go to key and then on there you are and back out completely oh we didn't select save it. you got to save it on and when you back out you got to go say select for to save and that's it They'll, the lights will stay on now and you back out completely and then it'll go in if you're in scan it'll go into scan just press um select and it just starts to scan everything yeah there's quite a lot in here so that's it for now. I think we'll get it on the computer and uh, do some software programming. Got an Ethernet there as well, so it means you can control it wirelessly, I guess, with the uh, with the right settings. I wonder if you can program it wirelessly as well. And if you want to take the head unit off, but best to turn it off first. Push that, comes off. There's your, S, you know, your SD card which you can put on your PC. Yeah, these. remember I said about a magnetic bracket? There you go. And um, so 
So I think it's it's got the uh, the the original cover on, but it makes the screen look a bit misty. I think I'd rather not have it on. You see, it's just bubbling up there. But it's good though because it means underneath it all, it'll be like new. Oh. Like so there is a button. Let's do that again. Put it in like so, and then clip. And again, it shows you the time, but then you still got to turn it on, and it, then it boots up like that. It's got a nice sound to the speaker as well. Actually, I'll just show you some manual dial before we end the video because that's always fun. Right, it's scanning. So let me remember. You go menu, then go down to search, select, then go down to tune mode, select, then type in. So we'll go type in something like my, my node 434.550 and then select. And yeah, now, there you go. Oh, so have you got the squelch here? Push it again. Put up the split frequency like that. Um, but you know, but it's because of the IST, the gateway, is only running about one watt uh, out. I'll turn on the my other one. I'll show you the difference in the audio. The TRX one. Okay, so we'll turn down completely the two, and then we'll turn up the the one. So it is a you know a, a sharper speaker. I'd say display wise, I I really like the handheld and the pad, the keypad on the on the handheld is really good. This needs to be brighter. I think. Let's see if I can find a brightness setting that needs to be brighter. So let's turn this one down completely okay and then turn this one up um yeah it's definitely a better speaker on the on the base unit let's try and get some dmr right just got my uh open spot on there so with a bit of luck we should hear something. Just need someone to speak now. Ready. Did you hear that? I love these open spot twos. I mean, a lot of people have got the three and the four. What I love about the two. Oh, it's cross moding YSF. What I like about the two is that it boots instantly. Watch this. Unplug it. It's off, yeah? Plug it in. Isn't that good? It's like instant. So what I'm going to do is quickly connect it to talk group 91. Actually, someone did speak. Now obviously I can't speak to them on a scanner. Um, it's sounding good. I know I, I spoke to both these people. Yeah, really pleased with that. It looks actually really good. So it's nice to see it all working. And don't forget, if I want, I can flick across to other bands. All modes. That's the, I mean, most of us. This is what you got to remember about hams. Most of the time, we listen. So let's end on a high. Very pleased with that. Thanks very much. Lots of playing to do. Both of these devices, and I'm enjoying scanner activity. Seven three. All the best.